So while she is still getting out of bed, this is what she's going to wear on her first day. Sophia is now awake. If you hear her, she is crying for mama. Um, this little swing dress is from Old Navy. So adorable. I love the leopard print. This was in my toddler girl fall haul. I will link that down below if you wanted to check that out. This is that huge pack of um, pigtail clips that I got from Amazon for like 14 bucks. Just a cute little plain white bow. She's going to wear her hair in a little bun today. And then her little hunter boots from last year. We're still waiting for her other ones to come. So yeah, this is her little outfit. And then I got <gasps> snakeskin booties. They're from Nordstrom's. They're from the brand Mia. Oh my gosh. I'll show those later. It's your first day at school? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Good morning, guys. We are on our way to go pick up sister from first day of preschool. So excited. She was so excited this morning. I didn't film and vlog while she was, um, like, while we were eating breakfast and all that stuff because I just really wanted her first day to be... Um, smooth and I didn't want her to be stressed out because of the camera or anything like that or nervous and stuff so I really wanted her first day of preschool to go smooth and so far so good we are on our way to pick her up right now right when we were walking out the door Layla told me that she pooped in her diaper so Layla is in a poopy diaper right now Shook's preschool is only about six minutes from our house so um, right when I get there and get a sister I'm gonna have to change Layla's diaper in this van and if you notice that we are in a different car it's because we are um, if you've been following me for a while you know that I got into a car accident when I was almost nine months pregnant on April 20th with Sophia I was eight and a half months pregnant and it wasn't my fault it was completely the other driver's fault and our Nissan Rogue was damaged so in August when we went on vacation um, we got a rental car and our car was in the shop for almost a week getting fixed at the end of August 
we got our car back and turned in the rental well just recently I realized that there was still something wrong with the back of my Nissan yesterday I turned in the Nissan and went and got this rental my mom helped me and drove the Nissan to the auto shop and then I went and got this rental so we are in this rental for 24 hours we will be returning it later today well that's what the plan is we're getting our Nissan back by the end of the day today so we're gonna go pick up sister and we'll see from there what honey we're here you see Shook's preschool is that what you said we're here how was preschool was it good yeah high five sis what do you got let me see your stars. Cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here, let me see what you made. Sugary. You made one, two, three, four stars. How cute, honey. I love you. Sugary, you went to preschool. Did you make friends? Yeah. Were you, what did you say to the teachers? Do you say teacher, teacher, or what do you do? Uh, I put me, I need to go pee. Oh, that's so sweet. Excuse me, miss. I need to go pee. Honey, we Daddy. missed you. I remember these when I was little. The scholastic, scholastic, or however you say them, scholastic book orders. This is pure nostalgia right here. Childhood nostalgia all coming back. We're gonna have fun with this. Speaking of which, I need to go through their books because they have so many books that are all busted up and torn up and colored in and ripped up and stuff. What do I do with books like that? Do I donate them or throw them away? Some of them are pretty bad. Are you buckled, sis? Buckle up. Let me know when you're done buckling up for safety. If you're wondering about my hat, because I know I'm gonna get questions about it, this is like the cheap Instagram hat of 2019. All of the fashion bloggers everywhere. This is a $16 cheap Amazon hat. And I have wanted it for like all summer. 16 bucks. So I finally pulled the trigger a couple weeks ago and I bought it and I love it it has like thousands and thousands of reviews every fashion blogger on Instagram has it so I finally got it I really like it it's super cute it's gonna run through all the seasons it's camel colored they have multiple colors they have black camel burgundy I almost got a burgundy one but I just was kind of like yeah but um yeah, it has really good reviews. It's super cute. It has a, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that? It has a strap right there. It is cheap, like it's a cheap hat, but it's super cute. And it'll go with any outfit. We were just heading home to get something that I forgot and came to the mailbox. The postal guy's here, which means my new dress my camera had died so I don't know how much of what I was explaining you guys about. but I mean it didn't die I ran out of footage oh my god it looks like the same it's a pretty burgundy color you guys how cute yeah okay there's a slip on oh my god how cute you guys so same dress that I'm wearing right now but from a different seller a little bit different material it kind of feels almost like I don't know. um but here's the dress I'll, sh I'll try it on it actually i'm getting ready to do my fall mommy try on haul i did the girls's a few weeks ago the toddler and baby girl clothing haul for fall so now it's our turn mama's holla hi guys we are home got my little buddy next to me Hi, Soph. 
Hi. The girls are here. We got them the cutest little um, candied apples at Walmart. They were like 80 cents and they have sprinkles all over them. They begged me for them. So I thought, why not? And it was Shukri's first day of preschool. So this is her little happy snack. And I am just going to go and cut these up for them. I am so tired, but I want to try on that new baby doll burgundy dress that I got in the mail from Amazon. And there are a few, few other things that I need to get done around the house. I need to update you guys on the fruit fly situation in my house and where they came from because I found out where they were coming from. And um, what else? There's something else I wanted to update you guys on. But anyways, I am going to go and cut these up for the girls. Front porch sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides, always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies, you know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes, round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute, taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes, swing it. You guys, they love these little turkey beef jerky pieces. So good. Two bites. So good? Two bites. Is it so good, Shook? <laughs> Here you come again. Always in the camera lens. <laughs> Shook, did you guys sing any songs at school today? You did? What was it? Layla, sit down, honey. Did you guys read um, Pete the Cat? Ma, you did? I pooped. Yeah. Really? I pooped. You pooped? <laughs> I know you pooped because I can smell you. <laughs> Stinky butt. <laughs> I just got home and I wanted to show you guys what my outfit today was. I am so in love with these boots, you guys. They are so cute they are um, some snakeskin booties adorable so cute and they are ridiculously comfortable we've been out since what time did we pick up Shook, we picked her up at 11 15 so we've been out since about 11 until right now it's 4 they're that comfortable like they're just so good I love them I am in love it's something that in my opinion will just really never go out of style but in this year snakeskin is just everywhere they were about $70 but me and my bargain hunter self I found them for $26 on the Nordstrom Rack website they are still up they are live and they are in stock my hair looks like a rat's nest. I have to wash it. You want to use my likeness? Please approve it for my wife. Alexa, please. Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. Hi, Bubba. Everybody always asks how I do my buns, so I just want to show you guys how easy it is. I will do a um, a tutorial on it. Soon. 
My buns are the best when they are done on super dirty hair. And this hair is super dirty. I haven't washed it in like three or four days. And then I don't like it being so tight. So I start just pinching more out, like bringing more of my hair out. I just grab some and pull it out from the base right here. And then if it feels like it's loose or anything, I'll just take some body pins. But I'm at home right now, so that's my body. Mm -hmm. If you have little strays like that, you can just take them. And wrap them around. Or you can pull little pieces down. What is that? And then even back here, I'll pull out some little. And if it's kind of like because I sweat, especially when it's hot outside, if my hair starts to get curly and frizzy back here, instead of it kind of looking like. Um, I stuck my finger in an electrical socket and it's all frizzed up. I'll just take, I'll turn on my um, hair strainer super fast and then just run it through these little baby hairs down here. And yeah, it's just awesome when you do these with super messy hair. So remember my my little problem that I had when in August when babe was coming home and I hadn't started taking the birth control at the right time so yeah what would happen like what oh my god I don't know but legit I've been smelling random stuff in the house what? Your booty? Yeah. Your booty? Give me a kiss. Love you. Okay, let mommy um hang up these clothes that I have to hang up before they get wrinkled, okay? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Shepherd had preschool today. Yay! Hey, mama. Mama. Ow. You okay? Ow. What did? What happened? Hi, so. Me. Yeah. There you go. Wow. I want to see your face. Hey, princess. Just wanna dance, want a simple romance, nothing more, nothing less from you. Just stay the night, then we we'll leave when it's like nothing wrong, it's alright with you. No ties. No prize. No need. So free. I don't care what you say, what you do, how you feel. As long as you can show me a good time. I don't need promises, honestly, no big deal. As long as you can show me a good time. I don't care. Oh, oh, oh. So don't you put pressure on me to get into us All I need is short time devotion I don't wanna be so emotional Just wanna dance, want a simple romance Nothing more, nothing less from you No ties No prize
I wanted to update you guys on the fruit fly situation. If you remember my last day in the white vlog, there was fruit flies all over my house. Stop it, you guys. And there's still like 10 or 20 of them just like randomly I'll see them in the bathrooms or the kitchen or the bedrooms, whatever, the living room, wherever. In my fall clean and decorate with me, the part two, I had gotten, um, someone had said that they were called spider mums, the big white bouquet of flowers that I had made a arrangement with the vase in my kitchen. They started dying. I obviously went to take, like, pick them up and put them in the garbage. And right when I picked the spider mums out of the vase, picked them up out of the vase, to put them in the garbage but a ton of fruit flies like came up from the flowers and they were all over the place and I freaked out I threw the flowers down and all the stems and the dead leaves and everything like went all over the kitchen and there was fruit flies everywhere so they were all like harvesting or whatever on those spider mums that were in my kitchen so I don't know if they had, were like already living in the bouquet or what but that's like where they like the source of the and when I think about it that's kind of when I started seeing the gnats or whatever they are fruit flies all over the places when I got that bouquet of flowers so I figured out that mystery they're still flying around the house so many of you guys commented and said to put bleach down my kitchen drains I did that that didn't work and then I took apple cider vinegar and I put one of them in the guest a uh, bowl full of apple cider vinegar in the girls' bathroom because a lot of fruit flies were in there and then I took another bowl of apple cider vinegar and I left it in the kitchen right by the sink that seemed to work there were quite a bit of the fruit flies going on around the trim of the bowl and then like crawling inside of the apple cider vinegar and then they would get stuck in the apple cider vinegar and then I would take the bowl out and empty it out and then put more apple cider vinegar in it but then eventually so so that that did work but then eventually they just kind of stopped going to the apple cider vinegar I noticed so they're still flying around the house um, one lady today had messaged me on Facebook or she tagged me in something some want me to feed you my girls are so extra you guys <laughs> is it so good is it yummy in your tummy yummy milk so a lady messaged me and tagged me on a Amazon post on Facebook today about this like amazing fruit fry, fruit, fruit fry, fruit fly killer and I ordered it so it should be here, oh it wasn't on Prime though, so it should be here um, I think in a week, it'll be delivered, no it'll be deli delivered October 2nd I think. Anyway, so I'm waiting for that to come. I did order it today. I hope that it works. It looks like it worked. To the lady, I don't want to shout out your name. I would love to, but I don't have your permission. So thank you so much. You know who you are. I really appreciate you tagging me in that post to get rid of all of these fruit flies everywhere. So yeah, that was the mystery of the fruit flies. They came from those white flowers that were in my fall clean and decorate video. At the most I've ever seen in here is like 10, 15, maybe 20. This is a pretty big house, so they're like flying around all over the house. So it's not like an infestation or anything like that. But I am definitely appreciative to the woman who tagged me today in the Facebook post to kill my fruit flies and we can squash the fruit fly problem. So thank you. Thank you. My mom just called and she invited us over for dinner because my middle brother is coming over from Walla Walla or Milton Free Water to pick something up. So we're going to have dinner at my mom's. And I think he's bringing his wife. My sister in law Morgan and their daughter Jordan. And the girls love their cousin Jordan. They're always making like the bombest, hugest meals over there, like comfort foods. And I was just like so tired from being gone for like six hours today with all three of the girls. So I was just gonna open up two cans of Campbell's Simply Chicken Noodle Soup. So, thank you. You guys, my city always has the most beautiful, gorgeous sunsets. 
no matter which direction you look, you will always find a beautiful sunset. We live in the middle of a desert, in the middle of a ton of open fields. So in any direction you look, you will always see orange skies, yellows, and reds. Thank you so much for watching our day in the life video. This was Shukri's first day of preschool. I'm so proud of my baby girl and to know what my wild child will become in her future. If you guys are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I love new friends. I love chatting with you guys. If you guys are a returning subscriber, I always appreciate you. Please give me a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye.